Hello truckers, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It is 6 o'clock in the evening. It is time to go to bed. I think I got a few more minutes left. Uh, yeah, three more minutes. Wow, let's rejoice for three more minutes. Uh, but I can stay up a little bit longer than if I wanted to. But really, if I go to bed now, that gets us up at 4 a.m. Just at daybreak. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's take a quick nap here. I see a quick nap. I mean, can I say quick nap? There we go. Well, let's, uh, well, let's start the truck. Get the engine up and warming, and let's go ahead and let's see what we can find. A good job today. A really, really good job. A really, 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 really good job. Did you get us the XP that we need? I don't think we're going to get it. Uh, see, we are in the LA area, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Wow, look at that load right there. What's the weight on that? 57,000 pounds. It is fragile and high-value cargo. 358 a mile. But it's only going to Oakland. I mean, Oakland is quite a ways, but that should give us a good, good amount of XP, wouldn't it? I mean, it's pretty darn good. This one's paying 374 a mile. I'll get paid uh, 3,151. Why is that so expensive? I mean, that's not that's not fragile, high value, anything like that. Is it because of the distance? Uh, what's the distance traveling here? 364. I'll tell you what. Originally, I wanted to go north. So let's go ahead north, and the good thing is, it's right at Kenworth. I think it's, it's right where we're sitting, basically. Um, but yeah, I think this will give us more XP miles, miles, mile, miles wise, mileage wise. Look at this, probably more XP. So let's go ahead and take this one. Plus, we're living Kenworth, and we're driving a Volvo. Makes it kind of interesting. But like I said, I don't have to go anywhere. Um, hmm. So yeah, it's pretty much telling me, uh, yeah, that my truck is probably not really prepared to do that it's a little bit on the heavy side for us i mean this cargo is not that interesting but you know the money is good uh what else do we got here you know what we should do is let's go ahead and go to external contracts for a second and see what they offer other than a boatload of christmas gifts that are still going on uh that's going to end here shortly here's another one but that's kenworth's trucks and as we know i cannot take it the weight is a little bit too much uh, Kenny, 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 Kenny everywhere. Um, that's going to Utah. We don't want to, I don't really want to go to Utah. Yeah, I'm not really looking at, uh, good at these kind of contracts. Nothing is really catching my eye. Uh, a couple of them are. I mean, that's a double trailer, but I don't like double trailers because it takes away from parking at the end of the way. Uh, yeah. Let's go back to freight market. LA. Um... 763 miles that way. Uh, do I really want to go that way, though? I know it's a rough decision, and I can't make up my mind what kind of cargo I want to take. Uh, that goes to Nevada. Hmm. All right, so, yeah, let's go ahead. We're in it for the money to begin with. Uh, it's a long-distance haul. Let's go ahead and take it. It's not going to be too of an interesting of a, of a load we're taking, but it's something. All right, hopefully the engine's warm enough. Let's go ahead and take off the parking brake, and let's see, do, do I need anything other than fuel? I mean, fuel is always good. Can I go out this way? Sure can. 15 miles to go to our destination. And I got a green light. Okay, interesting green light out of there. So the sun should be coming up eh, we can say momentarily. What is the speed limit down here? It's only 30, huh? Let me go over into this lane here. So if I do pass a fuel station along the way, we're going to need to stop here sometime soon. And my guess is probably going to have to stop along the way as well. It's a long haul. It's a long haul for this truck. Just keep an eye on the GPS in the corner here to see if we are passing a gas station. Uh, I need to be in the other lane here shortly. But 4 o'clock in the morning in LA, yep, not much traffic. Usually this is when a car... Oh no, here comes a line of traffic. Here comes a line of traffic. Come on, light, turn green so I can get over there.
Yeah, no, no cars coming, we're good. Maybe they got a red light back there. Head on down here. Make a left. I didn't really see what I'm going to be hauling. Why does it always wait for you to come to a complete stop before the light changes green? Red lights everywhere here. And not a soul in sight. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's a red pickup truck going through. And a fire truck. Are they taking red lights? That light is red. Just saying. So what am I... Oh, I don't... Yeah, I was going to say, what am I delivering? Can't tell because... Ah, I don't have the load yet. Gotta wait till I get there to accept the load. Hopefully when I get the load, it's not far from the interstate because I don't want to have to drive to the city too much. Looks like I might be going right on past the gas station, so we'll zip on in there and top off on the fuel. Spend a little bit of the coin that we have. Better watch my speed limit or I'll be paying more of a coin than I want to. Always turn the vehicle off when fueling. All right. Let's pay this, uh, probably what? I'm going to say $325. Crap. $349. Now I better watch my speed with a copper in front of me. He says as he speeds up a little bit too fast. And we are here at the Chevron. So if we happen to level up today, which I'm not thinking we're going to. We got a point into high value cargo and one into Fragile. Um, probably start putting one into some of the liquid transportation stuff. So we can start accepting some of those. All right. Is it still here or did someone take it on me? No, it's still there. I mean, the mileage price is good, so let's go ahead and take that job. The he the cargo's not that heavy either. And I'm just trying to see where it is on the GPS. Not much choices of cargo when we got here, so... Now, there's, see, there's a tanker there that is available, but since I don't have the skills, I cannot take it. Uh, let me put that in the... Some backup plates on this truck look good. Won't back it up too fast this time. I don't want to... There we go. Put the parking brake on. Legs coming up. And we are good to go. 14 hour trip. Uh oh. Um, I cannot stay up. Well, I can stay up that late, but uh, the fees for oversleeping, or not sleeping if you want to call it that, uh, that way, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a little. Hmm. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes as once we get on the road here.
I'm going to assume, since it's that long of a journey, that they're going to give me a while to get there. Sneak on out when I can. Oh yeah, and I need to check to see if I'm going through anywhere where I can swing in and possibly get a recruitment agency or another truck dealership. So if I get to a red light and we're stopped, which going through LA should be too difficult. We'll get the map up and see what's going on. Look at the traffic I gotta sit behind now. It's a Saturday morning. No, it's us. Yeah, it's Saturday. Saturday morning, five o'clock in the morning. All right, the light is red, so I'm gonna go ahead and just park here, kind of. All right, so that looks like right to I-10. Do I wanna jump off there anywhere and catch anything? Doesn't look like it. Going through another city here. Is there anything that's worthwhile? No, there's a repair station there, but nothing, nothing there. Not really going through Flagstaff. Doesn't look like we're going to be traveling through many cities where we can just jump right off. Hmm. Nothing there either. But once we are in Farmington, it uh, looks like we got a dealership here. I'm going to guess that's a recruitment agency there as well and a garage. So when we're there, we'll have to make a loop. A loop-de-loop. -loop. All right, I think, we're, I think we're all set. And I think that path that GPS has for us is pretty good. All right, let's take off the, the parking brake before I forget. So it's a 14-hour trip. I, got, I am up for 13. Oh, but I got 32 hours and 23 minutes to get the delivery there. So they are definitely giving me time to sleep somewhere. So the only thing as we get going along here, once we get down to like maybe three or four hours left on our sleep meter, we'll have to start maybe start looking for a place to pull over and get some sleep. We got a ways to go on that. So I'm kind of, yeah, we need like, a, no, it's the wrong button. Uh, yeah, we need like 1100 experience to level up to level six where we can get the half million dollar loan. Is this going to get us there? I'm going to say no. Just my gut feeling. Probably come up a couple hundred XP short, which is fine. I suppose that way we can just kind of take care of it all next episode. So next episode would probably maybe just take a short delivery or something like that and then um yeah start uh buying a garage and some trucks and all that fun stuff get removed over and then we'll be switching around to different vehicles once again and have to say goodbye to cindy for a little bit until the money really starts rolling in probably pay off a good amount of loan and get him Get a good amount of money to where we can buy ourselves a really, really good truck. I mean, nothing wrong with the truck, the truck that we've been driving. Just that it's a day cab truck. Meaning there's no sleeper behind us. Um, hopefully we can level up ourselves up and get, you know, a better chassis. Better everything, really. That's, that's the whole point. Because we could have, you know, it would have been nice to really deliver those Kenworths, but... Yeah, this truck is not quite capable of doing it. It's not saying, it didn't say that I, I don't believe that you can't take the load. It's just that it's going to be kind of difficult for you to do so is what the game's telling you. It's like, uh, we really don't recommend you do that. But bringing in $3,000 on this load, not too bad, but it does require us to, unless I really haul some butt here, I mean, if I can get there in one day, that would be amazing. But if I got to spend an hour or two 
the next day, work day, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Like I said, we're getting paid well. But taking up an hour or two on the next day, that just means uh, I may have to take a shorter run. Which might be kind of my plan anyways if I want to spend time in the episode taking on a loan, buying trucks, recruiting some drivers. And then, like I said, I'm going to try to... When I, of course, I will be delivering for other, other operator owners. So we'll try to take loads in the same town that we are in. Uh, the game's going to pretty much send me back to Salt Lake City, but uh, we're going to have to pretend that I'm not really there, that we're in the city where we left off, wherever that may be when it comes to that time. If that makes any sense. Now, right now, I just really want to get out of L.A. so I can get on the freeway and start start making up some time here. Yeah, lights uh, turn green when I come around the corner. That's real, always really good. So I may be pushing it a little bit on the interstate. So say like the speed limit is 70. I may push it if I can with this truck. You know, push it to 75 and gain that extra one hour that I need. I do believe the speed on I-10 through Arizona is like 80. But I don't think this thing will be able to push that far what we have. And the sun's starting to peak up at 5.30 in the morning. So originally, like I said, last episode I was kind of hoping to head north, but here we are heading east. It's all good. You got to go where the cargo takes you. And today it's to uh, uh, Farmington. Yeah, Farmington. And we're going to John Deere. Yeah, I, di I didn't really check to see what I was hauling. What am I hauling here? Another frack tank. Just over 8,000 pounds, which is kind of on the light side. But that works out well for us. All right, here we go. Coming up on the... Is this I-10 that we're coming up on? Yep, I-10. All right, let's hopefully we can make up some time here. And hopefully we don't run into any road blockage detours. Anything like that. Well, through California, it is going to be 55 miles an hour. So we can probably cruise at 58, and I'm going to be comfortable. Let's get up to 58 here. Like I said, try to pick up some time today. I mean, that's kind of my, that's kind of my goal today. I mean, if we get there before I have to take a snooze, and then in the morning, I can sleep, and in the morning, then I'll cruise around uh, Farmington and unlock the dealership and recruitment center if I have to, but if I can get the load there today, that'd be great. And I have to keep my eye on my fuel. Oh, we're getting off here, apparently. Alright. No problem. Not a problem at all. I don't know how many miles I've done in this truck, but the at the bottom of the screen in my minimal advisory, right to the left of where the speed limit uh, is on that thing, is my truck. And I'm not really showing any damage yet. Um, and you may be saying, well, you haven't hit nothing yet. Well, it'll even show tire wear on there. No problem pulling on passing all you folks. Must be a kind of a steep incline there a little bit. So 
it's going to be a long stays drive. Well, you want to shift there for me, please? Thank you. And resume. Speed back up to 58. sharp corner here. That's not that bad. So what I'll probably do instead of checking it like every five minutes, uh, probably wait until I get down to about five hours left on the journey. And then I'll check to see how much sleep I got left, which should be if everything stays the way it is, I should have like four hours of sleep left. And that's when you really start kind of looking like, okay, um, Am I going to make it there, or do I need to pull over somewhere and take a nap? Which forces me a 10 hour nap. And it's not worth it for me to keep on driving because the fine kept on increasing. It was a couple episodes ago where, yep, I, I needed to get some sleep, and the fine started off, I think, at 50, and it slowly kept creeping up $25 each time. So it's getting rather expensive. I guess I can get over in that lane. If it's going to stay three lanes, no, that's going to be an exit only. Every time I decide, like, oh yeah, let's get over in the right-hand side lane. I don't have to worry about traffic on that side or on both sides of me. That's when you find out. Nope, that lane's going to be an exit only. So it'll be pretty obvious for two reasons when we get into Arizona. One, there'll be a sign that says, Welcome to Arizona. And two, I think the speed limit will go up to 80. But it's been a while since I've driven through Arizona, so they may have, they may have changed that. So a couple of questions in the last couple of videos. Uh, I know I did talk about it, but there was actually two comments, and they were asking about uh, how I move my head, and I talked about that before. It's with Track IR. I'll try to put a link in the descriptions if I can remember, because a couple of people asked, "Well, how does it how does it work?" I'll just put a link in the description of the website. But although it's been years since I've been on the website, so hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it's still there. I would assume it is. And it's probably been improved upon. Because I bought mine back in 2015. Still working really good today. So basically, Track IR is what I use. It's just a little, it's a little clip that you can put on your, your headset. And like I said, there's like a thing right above my screen. A little 2x2 two two inch kind of screen so as I move my head it senses which way I move my head and moves my head in game uh, and you can use it for a lot of different games as well not just trucking simulator games but it's only when I use it for it oh yeah you can use it in farming simulator so if you play farming simulator and you use a wheel on that you don't want to use a mouse to look around in the cab inside I think I did use that little while in Farming Simulator, when Farming Simulator 19 came out, I tried using Track IR, and, it, and it, yeah, it did work, but it just I, I don't use it anymore just because um, I didn't prefer it. I wasn't in the tractor long enough. I mean, in American Truck Simulator or your Truck Simulator, you're always in the truck, so unless you like to drive third person in ATS. Well, that speed limit science is 70, but our GPS is still saying 55. So I just have to keep my eye on the fuel.
maybe when I get halfway there, it might be a wise thing to pull over at a gas station if I see one. I think we are going to, when you go through Arizona on the I-10, I do believe there are a couple of rest areas that are fuel depots as well, fuel stations. Fingers crossed that we don't run into any any detours or traffic jam not traffic jams, but uh, accidents. But I'm curious how much experience we'll get from this on a kind of a it's not a, that long of a journey. I have taken a journey, uh, nothing I recorded or anything like that, but. Um, a couple years ago when I was really involved into coast to coast and traveling around that map. On the coast to coast map, the Florida state of Florida is pretty well done over. But I took a job way down in the Keys of Florida and I found one to Seattle, Washington. Yeah, that was a journey and a half. A journey and a half. I don't even remember. I know it was over 3,000 miles. I know that much. And I want to say I got paid. It wasn't a great, wasn't great cargo either. But I think I got paid like hundred and eighty thousand dollars to do that. Come on, pickup truck, hurry up and pass me. Don't make me uh, slow down for the traffic up ahead. And I'm gonna. Eh, no, I shouldn't get that lane. Looks like the traffic up ahead is starting to move along. I was getting on them pretty good. Now it looks like they're starting to pick up the pace a little bit. And now it seems like I'm gaining up on them one more time. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on over. And of course, just as soon as you move on over, <laughs> you come up on a way station. That says, um, hey, can you pull over at the next uh, stop so we can weigh your truck? It, it, I swear it never fails. Never fails. It's like the game knows. Sometimes the AI traffic just really likes to slow way down on you. But I was riding a little bit too close to him. Better slow down myself. I don't need a speeding ticket. This time I'll stay off the scale until the guy's done. I don't want his totals to be completely whacked out. Oh, not quite there, huh? There we go. Now the truck is coming up in that lane. And now we have an opening. Dude, let's go. make sure I get out here as well. There was a car coming. I don't know why they didn't hop in the uh, fast lane and head it on up. But I will. Now I'll probably get pulled over in Arizona as well just because. Clear. Little stops like that will kill you when you're trying to pick up an hour. But 
basically, if I keep my eye on that delivery time in the bottom right-hand corner, that's my ETA. If I can get that down to 6 p.m., that's really where I need to be. So hopefully we can do that. Like I said, hopefully we can pick up just a little bit more time in Arizona. I don't know if that was a, a police motorcycle or not. But. Just moving along here. If you listen closely, you can hear that retarder and the transmission kind of keeping us so we don't pick up too much speed going down that hill. be kind of shocked if we make this delivery and I get that much experience, but I don't think I will. 1100 XP this early on is quite a, quite a bit amount of experience. We are going to New Mexico, right? In Farmington, New Mexico. And we should be going right through, straight through Arizona. I just need to cross the state line so we can uh, jump up the speed a little bit. Just had a peak though. We are down uh, under 500 miles left on the trip already. So that's not too bad. There's one gas stop, but you know we're, we still got more than half a tank, so. I think stopping here and topping off may not quite get me to where we need to be. It might. So maybe we'll stop at the next available one that pops up on the interstate as we go through. Because by then we should have enough on a full tank to get to Farmington. Since we're just kind of cruising along here, how about we, because I don't really do this too often, uh, let's just jump on out, have a quick look around, drive third person, which I'm kind of terrible at. Hopefully there's no cargo coming up. It's not like a train somewhere. The heck's a flipping train? Oh, there's a uh, railroad tracks on the left-hand side over there. Or is that me? No, it's not me. So I don't know. Is there a train going the same direction we are? Arizona state line. Better jump back in the cab. Make sure I'm not having to get off at this exit. And since we're not, let's get over this lane here. Oh yeah, speed limit now 75. Let's jump it on up a little bit. Well, when I say a little bit, we're going from like 58 to maybe 75. <laughs> this is where the extra two gears would come in kind of handy. But I really haven't checked the market to see... Because every time we level up, we do unlock new equipment that we can upgrade the trucks with. That's why I didn't get a sleeper... Well, there's two reasons why. Uh, we end up getting a day cab. The day cab, like I said before, is... Well, the day cab is without a sleeper. Kind of simple. Um, one, we weren't high enough level to even have the opportunity to buy a sleeper. But also, two, that would probably would have been way out of our budget anyways. So 
right now, looking at our ETA, it looks like we are picking up a few minutes here and there. But it it's not the worst thing if I don't make it and have to sleep overnight. I mean, the first part of the job is get there safely and the cargo there intact. And the second thing I would like to do today as well is, hopefully by driving just on the interstate through some of these areas, that we unlock a few cities. And you know you unlocked them when you go through and it says, hey, you discovered so-and-so, and we're just going past this city here. And no, we did not discover it. Like next city we're going through might be Flagstaff. Yeah, not, uh, it's kind of unfortunate we're going through all these cities. Not really any cities have anything to unlock as for trucking companies, dealerships, or recruitment agencies. But I really think the, uh, the way the game works now is, yeah, you're not going to be level two and be able to hire a worker that is like level 35 worker and has like a lot of skills. It's going to be kind of the same ballpark as what you are. I said before, my uh, other single player profile that I have, I'm like level 70. And if I were to hire drivers, they're almost tapped out on all the skills themselves. Hello, copper. That was kind of close. I'm not gonna lie. That was a that was a little bit risky there. Uh, okay, I was right. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just get a ticket for something? No, that's our loan payment. Once again, at the same time as it was yesterday. So it looks like 11:56 is when the bank decides to take our loan payment out. So right now, since we're down here, or we're, we're going to be in New Mexico when, whenever we get there. Yeah, so where will our first garage be, our true garage be bought? Uh, it's going to be wherever we leave, too, and, and that's where it's going to be. So i got to find, if we don't level out today, because we know there is a garage in Farmington. If we don't level out today, we're going to take another load and drive somewhere. Depending on how much experience we need, I gotta make sure wherever I'm driving to has a garage that we can purchase. That's gonna be kinda key. And then we'll probably spend 10 minutes of, an e of the episode of moving a truck around, buying a couple more trucks, and recruiting a couple drivers. Actually, it probably won't take that long. Probably won't take 10 minutes. Uh, construction zone up ahead. Doesn't really say how far, we, you know, how slow we actually have to go. I mean, if I went zooming through there at 70 miles an hour, I don't think I would get a ticket or anything. Yeah, it's going to be kind of tight on the delivery time, I think. help but keep an eye on that every once in a while. But the one thing about driving on the interstates in trucking simulator is you do chew up the miles pretty darn quick. It's when you're actually going through all the cities that takes takes a little bit more time on you. Yes, yeah, so we are below a half a tank of fuel, so I think the next stop that we see that has a gas station on it, we'll swing on in top or off on fuel.
traffic around me right now, so that's pretty darn good. Now, in theory, yeah, we don't have to stop in New Mexico. We can still keep driving east and go on the coast-to-coast -coast map and buy a garage somewhere out there. Texas is pretty well done over, I believe. They got a, you know, most of the major, they got a lot of the cities, actually. We just need to find some good cargo and a destination that has a garage. may have to check the map here in a while. Yes, I could always drive off and drive down to one of these cities and top off with fuel in there, but I'd rather just get one of those right, right on the interstate. At least we're getting some foliage on the side of the roads now. It's not all deserty. Albuquerque, how you doing? got to be careful when trucks get off the interstate in this game because sometimes the AI will slow way down. More than necessary. Either time is flying by, real time is flying by my head or not, but I'm not sure. But man, we're already down to like 270 miles to go. Just, just chugging through these miles. We are getting down to about a quarter of a tank of fuel. I'm just trying to go back in my head when we were back in LA and I was checking the map. I thought I saw two, possibly three areas on the interstate that had fuel depots, fuel stations. So, I mean, we only passed one, but I wasn't really looking at it that hard to say I would need fuel. I kind of thought about it afterwards, thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, I may need some fuel. That's probably the one thing when we start driving for other people again and we start saving up enough cash so I can buy myself a truck. I'm going to make sure I have a 300 gallon tank on it. Because <laughs> that's what I'm used to. But then again, I don't have all the skills into saving fuel either, so I'm still going to go through more fuel than I'm used to. But at least with a 300 gallon tank, you can pretty much drive on a full rest and not run out of fuel. It says I got 37 gallons left. And I think it says I can do 175 miles, so yeah, we're kind of short on the fuel.
just wondering when am I going to see a sign like, hey, uh, fuel rest area up ahead. Watch it be where we're going through and I'll see one like on the other side heading west and the east side lane won't have one. Now all this is probably at the exit in the city of Sholo. I think was that the next city we're coming up on, Sholo? Yep. Sholo and Holbrook. Driving right on through. Taking a chance. I may, I may actually check here in a second whip up the map. Cindy, get the map out, would you? Probably should get the map out because, yeah, we're getting that kind of close on the fuel. Um, that's interesting. Just like an off ramp, but nothing going to it. Is there. Hmm. I will be going. Well, if I look at the map, really, I probably should have stopped. Here, I could have gassed up, so it wasn't on the interstate, it was off. So now, my next option would be, there's a way station, but that's on the other side, all right. Um, once I get to Gallup. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that, that's a ways. That, that, that's quite a ways. Hey, that is a dull trailer. I wonder if he's got tires in there. So now the question is, can I make that, uh, I guess, the guy, guy, guy station? It's, it's, it's a ways. It's going to be kind of tight. Um, I mean, the worst, worst comes to work, I, worse. I have to call for a tow truck and I'll bring it to the nearest garage. You do lose time and you do have to pay I don't even remember I tried it one time ETS 2 a long time ago and I ran out of fuel because I was curious to see what would happen so we're going back to maybe like 2013-2014 when I tried it when I, last time I actually ran out of fuel so I'm not sure if it's still the same way I know I'm running out of fuel. But uh, I kind of checked too late. I just assumed that the gas station was on the interstate and it was just off it. Yeah, I can go another 100 miles. That's 149 miles to our destination. So... <laughs> Yeah, here we are. It's not a good day, Cindy. I, I, I may have made a boo-boo. May have made a boo-boo. Uh, but the good news is, though, if you look at our ETA time, I think I may have picked up that one hour almost. But it does you no good if you run out of fuel. your breath. Don't make me stop by the way station. You son of a... Just coast all the way in. Don't step on the... Don't step on the throttle at all. You guys wouldn't have like a five gallon container, would you? <laughs> I may need it.
there goes a gallon of fuel. <laughs> uh, oh, I just stopped short. That's never good. Yep, and now I'm starting to yawn. Let's not make the situation worse by speeding through here. Watch my RPMs a little bit better. Get no traffic coming. Oh, dude, really? Oh, 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 oh that was just totally. What, what is he doing? Well, the good news is we're in Gallup, which we know. That, that fuel uh, gas station is just on the other side of Gallup. And I dismissed my off ramp. That's not good. Not good at all. It's getting worse. All because of this Walmart truck. <laughs> I think it's a Walmart truck. Threw me off completely. Luckily, there's another exit here. Oh, this is going bad, man. Alright, since there's fuel around here, so I may go ahead and have a quick look and see if there is... Yep, I see one. Can I get over there? Got the clutch pressed in. <sighs> oh, calm yourself there. All right, before I go through here, um, can I go to here? Oh, I can for sure. Yeah, we're fine now on fuel. It was all part of my plan. Honest truth. So the part becomes, do I want to sleep here? Um, how do I get inside fu said fuel area? Alright, so it's a 150 gallon tank. How many gallons is she going to take? And then I got to see how much is on my sleep meter. So I had, well, we'll just call it nine gallons. Alright, so another two hours for delivery. And I got to sleep in one hour. Well, tell you what, it's going to kind of throw off everything here, but we got time to make the delivery. We're going to wake up at 3 a.m. It's going to suck, but let's go ahead. Yeah, we're sleeping. I mean, I've already risked it. <laughs> We've already risked it pretty big here by the fuel. Not risk it, but uh, not by... It's all my fault for not checking on the fuel situation to begin with. No, we don't need to do the scales. We're good. Thank you. 
Not a good way to start the morning either, stalling it, heading out of the parking lot. Um, do you want me to turn here? I think you do. There goes that train. At least we only have to go 121 miles. It's two hours to get there. We're all rested up. We got fuel. So, fingers crossed we don't have any situation on the way there. Sun up. Just that we won't be able to see too much on the way there, that's all. So, in the last few minutes, I missed my exit, but it got me to the fuel station, and in a way, it's a good thing because, well, we got to. Got to sleep as well. Uh, you're not going, so I guess I'll go. And 35 through the city. There's a gas station I was originally going to on the other side of the road, so like I said, it all worked out. All part of my master plan. Throw you guys off a little bit. So now we can start guessing. Am I going to have enough experience to level up? Or how short are we going to be? That is the question. Uh, John Deere is where I'm going, correct? So when I get there, I can start looking for the sign. Sometimes you get there where GPS is showing you where to go. And there's two businesses right next to one another, so it's always good to know what, you know, what parking lot you need to go into. Uh, looks like that's on the southbound lane over there. Traffic is going through. Not really sure what that truck was doing in the middle of the interstate over there, but he can do what he needs to do, because we're doing what we need to do, which is go another 84 miles. I may have to check the, the internet and see if there's like a sleep mod to where we can sleep so many hours instead of sleeping 10 hours all the time. I have not heard or seen of one, so if anyone has, let me know below. Because it would be interesting to be able to select how many hours you want to sleep. But I don't want one where you sleep one hour and it regains your full rest either. So that kind of takes away from the realism that we're trying to accomplish here. I go up to pass a whole bunch of cars on the interstate because I always feel 
like we did in, uh, I think we were leaving California. I got in the fast lane to pass a car, and it's like the way station said, no, we see you in the fast lane. <laughs> we need you to pull on in. And the last time where I missed my exit, that was all frustration on that Walmart truck driver. I don't know what the heck he was doing. Switching from lane to lane, lane to lane. Reduce speed ahead. I am doing 70 to 65, so what's the speed limit here? Oh, 45, better slow on down. I'll be perfect. Thank you. It's like the game heard me that time. <laughs> so I'd like to get back in that right-hand lane, but there was so much traffic. Well, we kind of get to deliver, like I said, when the sun comes up. So that's going to be kind of neat. We have to take a screenshot as well, because I have not taken one yet. Probably should have taken one when I got to the fuel station. So many things I could have made with the thumbnail. Uh, 12 miles out, so I'm not going to get too aggressive and try to pass this vehicle, because that's what it says my exit's coming up, although he's going rather slow. I do like the fact that the AI traffic in the game doesn't all obey the speed limit, so you'll get, you know, if the speed limit is 70, you'll get some traffic that'll do faster, and some traffic do a lot slower. gear. I said 8th gear. No, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's why. There we go. somewhere. Keep an eye on the GPS so I can see what lane I need to be in, but I don't see nothing blinking yet on it. Anyone see a John Deere sign over there? Because I don't. one mile. And I'm starting to see a flash. It might be on the left-hand side of the road. Yep, I see John Deere now. Sneak on in here. All the way around, that way I get a good view. 
Uh, make sure I'm an R1. I don't think I'll get it my first try because the angle is not the best. At least I'll get it squared up a little bit. I mean, I probably could have done it in the first try if I really wanted to, but I'm not that good at it. on up. Actually, before I do anything, because I haven't done one yet, kind of, no, I don't want my, hit the wrong buttons. Uh, nope, that's the wrong button. Wow, we can't really see nothing there, can we? I'll have to come up with something for a screenshot later on. We can see the lake coming down. Interesting kind of lake setup. Alright, so how much XP did I get? <laughs> I need 1100. We got 1,030. <laughs> but you know what? That just means uh, I could take a short drive to... Well, technically today, I could do it. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, what I meant today, I meant in-game today. Not this episode, because, yeah, this episode is starting to get there. But one thing we can do, since I can definitely take the load this in-game day, let's go ahead and see what kind of uh, load we can take and where we might be going. So we're here in Farmington and there isn't much to take out of here. So we can go to Santa Fe. And that little drive over to Costco should get me enough experience. We don't need much. Um, no sense it's uh, checking external contracts because that's real time. They'll have to deliver it in. And I won't be recording an episode for a few days. So that's not going to work. Um, but Santa Fe. Let's go to World Map. And zoom on out. Uh, Santa Fe, Santa Fe. There's Santa Fe. So Santa Fe does have a garage. Um, they don't. Uh, they got a recruitment center as well. So I think what we'll do is, uh, if I can find out where we are, we're in Farmington. Here we go. So when we start next episode, we'll have to head on down the road, unlock these. Uh, we'll take that cargo... Uh, where are we picking it up at? Uh, 7-Eleven. Is this office supplies? We're taking office supplies from 7-Eleven and bring it to Costco. Makes perfect sense. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's see real quickly. Uh, 7-Eleven's right here. Yeah, so I can go around. Uh, we'll unlock this. Grab that. Grab the load. Head to Santa Fe. And if everything goes well... Taking out a loan, buying a couple trucks, and um, yeah, and a couple of drivers as well. Uh, I should probably pull forward and get kind of out of the way here. I mean, there's no one here. It's a single player map, but you know what I'm talking about. Other truckers might be coming here, so let me just get out of the way. In game, we'll just be parked here for a little bit, but. Like I said, it's got to wait till the next episode until we do all that kind of stuff. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here in American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. But until then, have a good one. Can't forget the horn. Mm -hmm.